Okay, so let's go to some of the higher level functions with um, Flex. And we'll begin with the, the word list function. This shows you all of the words within this lecture series. And as a default, we've got it um, set to academic words. Remember, general academic words. And no great surprise here that legal is coming in as number one. Convention, interpretation, civil, fundamental. Now, when we go to the topic-specific words in these lectures, um, of course, European, Parliament, Appeal, Parliamentary, British, Supreme, Judicial, these words will come through. Okay, so that gives you an idea of how you can look at, you know, what are the, the top words that are occurring in these lectures. Now, let's go to collocations within this collection. Collocations are basically words that go together to form phrases, the way that native speakers of a language put their words together um, comes under this area of collocations, which is hugely useful when you're learning a language or when you're learning a specific area, such as law. Okay, so what we've done is we've got them occurring alphabetically here, we've got the A's, um, a nice feature is the top 100 collocations in this collection and you can see how they're organized by grammatical pattern. Um, let's click on this one, adjective plus noun, no great surprise we have common law. Um, if you want to once again you can um, add these to your cherry basket if you're interested or you can go to a larger database within the FLAX project called the Learning Collocations Collection and you're going to see how the word common collocates with other words in larger collections of language. Here we've got the British National Corpus of 100 million words, we've got other corporate in there as well. And you'll see actually within the British National Corpus that the expression the collocation common law occurs 597 times. So within British English this is a very um, frequent phrase and you can see how common law is used in British English. So common law, common law rules, common law courts and it gives you the frequency as you go down. And once again you can have a look at a deeper level how these collocations, these phrases are being used in context, and if you decide they are of interest to you, you can add them to your cherry basket as well. Okay, so let's go back to our English Common Law MOOC lectures in FLAX, and um, what I'd like to do now is to show you just a, a quick feature called Lexical Bundles, and these are phrases which Professor Geary has a tendency to repeat um, so he's often talking about the European Court of, and you can click on these to see how he's used this through the collection. Um, here are some phrases that he's using at the beginning of a sentence, or in other words, what I want to, can imagine he's, what I want to talk about, focus on, do now, what I want to stress. So these are quite useful patterns to understand how lecturers present information or how they discuss key concepts within law in this particular case. Now, um, there's obviously the search feature in, in Flex, which helps you to look for keywords, key, key concepts across the whole collection in a quick way. You can choose at the article level, sentence level, paragraph and collocations level. So if we wanted to see, you know, how many times does Dicey occur in this collection? And we see he occurs eight times. And we can click on uh, the arrows here to give us deeper context of where he's being mentioned. Uh, we can look for him at the article level. So he's in roughly five documents and so on. So that's a very useful feature just to get inside um, the lecture series to find something specific and it will always be highlighted in yellow for you.